Mia, it's so cool you have a lizard. Rhinozilla is sweet. Yep, gotta say, I'm a fan myself. What exactly do bearded dragons eat? I'll show you. It's just about dinner time. Nice. Wait, are those live crickets? That's what Rhino eats. Uh, that's kind of gross. It's not. It's the same thing he'd eat if he were wild and a part of a real food chain. Food chain? You know, a food chain. It's the feeding relationship between organisms in an ecosystem. I knew some animals ate others, but I didn't know it was a chain. Oh, yeah. The food chain has different levels, sort of like a video game. It goes like this. Producers, herbivores, carnivores, decomposers. All living things need energy to live, and they get their energy by eating. When one type of organism eats another one, energy is passed from one level to another. Whoa, that's a lot going on. How does energy get passed to another level? Here, check out this energy pyramid. The chain starts at the bottom with plants, the producers. They absorb their energy from the sun. Plants use that energy to make their own food. The rest of the animals on the chain are called consumers. Consumers are plants or animals that get their energy by eating other living things. There must be a lot of consumers then. There are. The first level of consumers are called herbivores. Herbivores get their energy by eating plants. Crickets are herbivores. They munch on leaves to get the energy they need to live. A lot of insects are herbivores, but so are bigger animals too, 